Hello everyone, welcome to another reaction video, something that's not a song for a change. I know, I'm going to be reacting to the Invincible Season 2 teaser trailer premiere uh, from the Prime Video YouTube channel because it was made for and released for Prime, the app, the uh, video viewing app. Um, well, video, movie and TV show viewing app. And I'm familiar with Invincible, the show, I know it's based on a comic which I've not read but I'd really liked it at some point. I saw season one of the show though. I quite liked it, I thought it was very well animated, nice voice acting. Um, J.K. Simmons was fantastic as Omni-Man, so uh, yeah, no, this is going to be quite interesting, I have no clue what to expect. I'm just glad we're getting a season because obviously there was huge delays because we were still in the post-pandemic era when season 1 came out, I think. And also animated shows generally take up more time uh, to make than live action ones, so I'm interested to see how this is going to go and quick disclaimer as well, as always go check out the original thing in the description below this one, uh, well, below this video go and watch that before you come back and watch this because, you know, if you're just watching me for my reaction, it's kind of pointless in it, but, uh, yeah I say we, uh, we get this underway For some of you it probably seemed like this day would never come Maybe you're even wondering if you're ready for this. Ah. For what comes next. Where is he? You have no idea what I'm capable of. I didn't know who he was. Oh. Hey, the doctor's back. I don't fight friends because I would win. Never How about in the alien is more of a, pr a presence? Is so he fighting a mortal? I think he is. And that's on a very short leash. I'm just happy helping people. You know people try to kill us every single day, right? I don't care how old he is. He needs to go down. They're just like some of the dog there. Hey, the clones. Mauler, I think his name is. Get back to saving lives. Sterling K. Brown, Cliff Goats, Chloe Bennett. Oh, Josh Keaton, Ben Schwartz, Paul, Eric Bowser, Leah Thompson, Reese Fallen Moore, Lump, Scott McNair, my mind is going crazy. Peter, Peter Cullen. Viltrumite against Viltrumite. That has not happened since the Great Purge. And of course, yeah, figured. You should have died at birth. Ah, how many man charming as ever? <laughs> I mean, I, I did quite like that, and with it being a teaser, I didn't think we were going to get, like, a whole ton out of it, because, you know, it's a teaser, not a full trailer. And I, I guess they didn't want to give too much away, but to me, the most interesting part, weirdly, was seeing who's joining Season 2. I mean, that is a fucking talented load of voice actors. I did not know any of that going in, but seeing a lot of names I recognize, and it in, like, voice roles I've seen before. I mean, I'm currently watching Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And Ben Schwartz is pretty great in that as Leonardo, one of my favourite interpretations of often the most, like, boring turtle. I've always liked Leo, but, like, that version of him in particular is great. Also, Peter fucking Cullen, Optimus Prime, in Season 2. Hell yes, and obviously a ton of other voice actors like uh, Leia Thompson I'm familiar with, uh, Sterling K. Brown. I've seen him in a lot of like physical acting roles and he's really good in whatever I've seen him in. I've not heard him do any voice work, so that's going to be interesting. He's a really good actor as well, um, from what I've seen. So, yeah, that's going to be quite uh, quite interesting. Um, I'm trying to think about things other than the voice cast I like. I liked that um, Mark was not there at the uh, presentation, but his girlfriend was. I can't remember his girlfriend's name for the life of me. Although, I know she's voiced by Zazie Beat, so I do like because she was also Miss Domino in Deadpool 2. I hope she comes back in 3 if if she's even listed. I haven't really caught up on the Deadpool 3 news. I know it's happening, though. And I've seen that lovely picture of Ryan and uh, Hugh wearing their uh, costumes. I like the Wolverine costume and how that looks for uh, for Deadpool 3. But uh, yeah, no, that looks kind of interesting. This show's coming out in November, so I'm going to keep uh, try and keep some TV space clear for that because I've still got a long, ever-growing list of TV shows to watch. That's going to be good. Um, yeah, again, we didn't get a whole lot of it. It looks very action-packed. It's probably going to be quite bloody. And, you know, probably pretty dark if Omni-Man's last line there was anything to go by. Um, I'm expecting it to be more or less the same as, as Season 1. I'm glad that Doctor is back, though, because, again, I can't remember his name, but he was my favourite villain from Season 1. Um, <laughs> I like it. his degrees in women's studies with a minor in African dance. Like, love that guy. Uh, yeah, that's really all I can think of to say. Um, next thing I'll see you for will probably be tomorrow, might be a fight the night review, and considering that the main event of UFC 291 is Justin Gaethje versus Justin Poirier, if that is not fight the night, I'll be very fucking surprised, but I will see you all 
uh, tomorrow for that. So as always, thank you for watching. You're awesome. Bye-bye.